it's, I think it's fairly easy to summarize the relationship between government's concern for virtue and government's concern for private rights by using language the founders used, namely, you cannot maintain a free society without a virtuous public. And what they meant by that was, unless people have in their dispositions and habits a basic orientation towards respect for each other's natural rights, and at least to some degree, uh, willingness and, and uh, ability and ability to perform their basic minimal moral duties in society, no matter how well organized the legal system might be that meant, is meant to secure private rights, it will not succeed because the public itself will not be willing to continue to vote and support policies that enable those rights to be protected. There, uh, there's very common formulation was that you that uh, in a republican form of government namely consent of the based on consent elections virtue is needed in more than more than in any other form of government because in a republic the people themselves pick the rulers so if the people don't have any you know if they don't have basically good sense and basic attitudes of restraint and respect for each other's rights they'll be putting people in office who will end up exploiting uh, some citizens at the expense of others, um, and or I should yeah. So I should I said benefiting some citizens at the at the expense of others. That's what I meant to say, right? And that and so you need to have some minimal degree of those qualities of self-restraint as well as self-assertion. Is also you need to defend liberty. You need to be willing to fight, and you need to have those qualities as well. So I think that's it's a summary of of how they understood that relationship. 